Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to the primary Sabbath school class, where learning more about God and his love and his son, Jesus Christ, is our number one priority. Today, our lesson is entitled, Seven Special Servants. Again, Seven Special Servants. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for giving us this opportunity to learn more about you and your son, to learn more about the Bible, and to be able to take what we've learned and share it with our friends and family. Bless us and keep us today. Increase our understanding of the word. In your son's name we do pray. Amen. Amen. All right, boys and girls, it's time to sing our good morning song. Are you ready? All right, one, two, three, four. Good morning, good morning, good morning, we say. We're happy, so happy to see you today. Good morning, good morning, good morning, we say. We're happy, so happy to see you today. I hope, boys and girls, you're happy this morning and that you're ready to learn more about the Word of God. Our memory text for our lesson this week is coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 4 and 5. And we're going to read it from the New International Version. Again, that's 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 4 and 5. All right, let's read it together. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. Let's try that again. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. All right, let's dig deep into our lesson for today. The young church kept growing. Every day, more people came to learn more about Jesus. The apostles were kept busy teaching and encouraging the new believers. All kinds of people joined the church. Some were rich, some were poor, others lost their jobs, or their families did not want anything to do with them when they became Christians. All the believers tried to help one another. The rich sold some of their property and used the money to buy food for those who did not have any. People were busy with teaching and preaching. One day, the Greek-speaking Jews came to the apostles and started complaining. Everyone was shocked and upset. Until, until then, there had been a feeling of unity among the believers. The Greek-speaking Jews said, the Greek-speaking widows are not getting as much food as the widows who speak Hebrew. The apostles knew that if they became involved in sorting out all the problems, they would not have time to preach. And they needed to concentrate on teaching people about God. The 12 apostles gathered all the believers together and said, if we took time from teaching the word of God to serve food, we would not be doing what God has called us to do. Choose seven men who are wise and full of the Holy Spirit, and we will ask them to be responsible for caring for these practical matters. Everyone thought it was a great idea. The believers chose seven deacons. All of them were good, they were kind, and they were spirit-filled men. The apostles were pleased. Now, 
they could concentrate on serving God by teaching others. They held a special service to dedicate these seven men to their new duties as deacons. They prayed for them and laid their hands on them. Everyone was happy. Once again, the young church was united. The apostles served God by teaching and spreading the gospel. The seven deacons served by caring for the practical things that needed to be done in a growing church. God blessed both the apostles and the deacons as they served. This brings to mind a song entitled, Trust in the Lord with All Your Heart, all right? And this song is special because if we learn to trust God and not try to figure things out all by ourselves, he will show us exactly how to use the gifts that he has blessed us with. He'll tell us when to serve, where to serve, how to serve, and who do we need to serve. But we must acknowledge God in all things so that he can direct us. Just like he di directed the apostles, just like he directed the deacons, um, and the church was blessed because of that. All right, so let's try singing this song. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Try singing it with me. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. It's trivia time. All right, boys and girls, it's time for you to answer a few questions that are related to our lesson for today. Here's the first question on the screen. What was the apostle's main duty? Do, 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 do. All right, boys and girls, what's your answer? Yes, the apostles' main duty was to share what they knew about Jesus. They were to teach and they were to preach. Good job, boys and girls. Our second trivia question is, who needed help? In the story, who needed help? All right, what's the answer? Yes, in the story, the people who needed help were the Greek-speaking Jewish widows. Yep, those are the people that needed help in the story. All right, so our third question is, why were Greek-speaking Jews complaining? Why did they need help? Do you remember? I'll give you some time to think. Okay, what is your answer? They were complaining because they believed they were not getting their fair share of the food. <laughs> that's why the Greek-speaking Jews were complaining, and that's why they needed the help of the apostles. All right, our next trivia question, and I think it's our last trivia question for today is, what was the apostles' solution? What was the apostles' solution? 
What's your answer? The solution was to appoint deacons to look after practical things. And how many deacons did they select? Yes, seven deacons. And those seven deacons were to take care of the practical needs of the church. Let's say our message together for this week's Sabbath school lesson. When we organize our gifts, we serve God better. One more time. When we organize our gifts, we serve God better. And I hope you saw from today's story, boys and girls, that when the apostles and the deacons were organized, they were able to serve. They were better servants for God. So there are different kinds of gifts, right? But the same spirit. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. And as long as we stay connected to our Father, he will show us and he will teach us how to serve. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for this time that we were able to spend together. Now help us to share what we've learned with others. Help us to use our gifts and our talents to serve others and to serve you. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. All right, boys and girls, that's all for today. I look forward to seeing you or to spending some time with you next week. Go out there and continue to grow, continue to love, and continue to share the good news with your family and friends. Take care. Until next time.